I don't feel well. Is this a side effect of chulicity? In order to answer this question, first, we will review the common side effects of chulicity. Next, we will talk about how you can tell if you are having a side effect from a diabetes medication and what you can do about it. I will give you a step-by-step -step way of doing it and a few examples. Let's first review the common side effects of cholicity. They are mostly stomach symptoms like stomach pain, nausea, bloating, constipation, diarrhea, vomiting. Cholicity can also occasionally cause heart racing and fatigue. Now let's talk about how to tell whether medication is giving you the problem and what you can do. First of all, review the common side effects of this medication. Find out if what you're experiencing is a common side effect of the medication. If it is a common side effect of the medication, then stop the medication and you may need to switch to another medication for diabetes. If what you are experiencing is not a common side effect of the medication, then your symptoms is likely because of other medical condition or other medications. However, if you cannot figure out what else can do it, and you still feel strongly that the medication is the problem, then suspend the medication for a few days and see if you feel better. For those once a week medication, skip it for one to two weeks and see if you feel better. If you do feel better after suspending the medication, then it is possibly a side effect of this medication. Switch to a different one. However, if you still do not feel well, do not feel better after suspending the medication, then probably what you're experiencing is not a side effect of this medication, and you should look for other causes. Let's look at example. This is a gentleman who recently started to take Trulicity. He felt very nauseous. What should he do? By looking up the common side effects of Trulicity, he found that nausea is one of them. Therefore, his nausea is likely related to Trulicity. The nausea is too much for him, so he stopped the medication and felt better. But then his blood sugar went up, so I prescribed him another medication for diabetes. In this second example, a lady started to take metformin recently. Then she felt shorter breath. Is metformin the reason for this? By looking up the common side effects of metformin, you will notice that shortness of breath is not a common side effect of metformin. Therefore, her problem is likely from other medical condition or medication. Since shorter breath could be life-threatening, she went to the emergency room and they found that she actually had a flare-up of heart failure. From this example, you can see that you should look for other reasons if your problem is not a common, I would like to emphasize the word common, side effect of this medication. Otherwise, you may miss some serious medical condition. The next example is a lady who started to take insulin Lantus recently, and she had a rash on her arms. Rash is not a common side effect of Lantus, so Lantus is unlikely the cause of her rash. However, she still felt strongly that Lantus is a problem, because she injected Lantus on her arms. We switched to a different type of insulin and injected it in her abdomen but the rash on the arms persisted. 
so Lantus should not be the problem here. Then she remembered that her laundry detergent was something new, so she stopped it, and it turned out that she was allergic to her new laundry detergent. Important points for your safety. First, most side effects happen within a few days after you start the medication. If it happens much later, let's say two months after you started the medication, it is very unlikely to be a side effect of this medication. Second, monitor blood sugar closely after you stop the medication, at least every day, as blood sugar can go up and you may need additional medication. And I do not suggest stopping insulin all of a sudden because your blood sugar can jump very high and put you in danger. Instead, switch to a different type of insulin and see if the problem is still there. The third point is very important. If you feel very sick, then regardless of the reason for that, go to the emergency room. Don't wait. If you would like to learn more about various types of diabetes medications, you can go to hmf-diabetes.com and type in what medications are available for diabetes. You can also search for individual medication. For example, if you want to see whether metformin is a good medication for you, then you can just type in, for example, pros and cons of metformin and click Find the answer.